Leveraging an old computer ATX power supply can be an ingenious solution for your electronic projects. In my case, I wanted a reliable DC power supply for my electronic panels that operate using Arduino Nano and ESP32 microcontrollers. Here is how to do it. Let's get started. You're not authorized in here. ATX power supplies are designed to output substantial current. For instance, my model is capable of delivering 40 amps at 5 volt and 15 amps at 12 volt. Your model may vary, but universally, ATX power supplies are hardy and powerful. There is no need to open the ATX power supply case. It contains high voltage capacitors that can arm you. Instead, I make use of its ATX cable. This cable provides all necessary power connections for my project. As for the other cables attached to the power supply, you can ignore them as they aren't required for the specific undertaking. To be able to use the ATX cable, this ATX breakout board will do the magic. It supports ATX cables with 20 pins and 24 pins. I've included a link to this breakout board in the video description, along with links to all the other components used in this project. We are going to see the wiring needed shortly but before, let's familiarize ourselves with the primary components that are required for this project. I'm using an existing box that I have on end, which perfectly accommodates all the electronics required to energize my Star Wars panel. We've already discussed the ATX breakout board earlier, and the next crucial electronic component is this buck converter. This device is integral to the setup as it takes the 12 volt output from the power supply to a stable voltage. Providing 12 volt directly may cause the voltage regulator of the microcontroller to become quite hot. It has a small potentiometer that is used to adjust the voltage output. It has to be adjusted before wiring it, and I set mine at around 6.5 volt, which is more than enough to power both the Nano and ESP32 microcontrollers. I am also using the small volt and amp meter to see the voltage output and the current consumption. The meter comes with two GST cables. There is one with two thick wires, red and black, and the other comes with three thin wires, red, yellow and black. This will come handy when I show you the wiring. I am using two of them because I will have two different outputs on the box. I added the green LEDs just for fun to animate them with an Arduino Nano. I will show you the wiring of the meter in a short moment, it's very easy. Next I use this 5mm female jack connector for the output with this male connector to distribute power to my microcontrollers. They are very easy to use. I have two outputs behind my box. And again the links to these components are in the video description. And to safeguard my microcontrollers from potential overcurrent situations, I've incorporated fuses into the output circuitry. I'm using two M fuses, which not only enable me to power several microcontrollers simultaneously, but also offer a certain level of protection. These fuses act as a critical failsafe, severing the power supply in the event of an excessive current surge. This prevents damage to the sensitive microcontroller circuitry. And finally, a very simple toggle switch to turn on or off the power. All right, it's time for the wiring. We have the ATX breakout module at the bottom, the buck converter, the volt and amp meter, the toggle switch, the five millimeter female connector, the fuse holder, and a little block terminal to make the connection easier. Now connect one side of the toggle switch to the power on the breakout module, the power terminal. And the other side of the toggle switch goes to the CON terminal on the breakout module. The input positive of the buck converter goes to the 12 volt rail, one of the 12 volt terminals on the breakout module. And the input negative goes to one of the ground terminal on the breakout module. The output negative of the buck converter goes to the thick black wire of the voltmeter. And the output positive of the buck converter goes through the black terminal and the other side goes to one terminal of the fuse holder. Older side 
the other terminal of the fuse holder goes to the positive terminal on the 5 mm female connector, and the positive terminal is the shortest one. The negative terminal of the 5 mm female connector, it's the longest terminal, goes to the thick red wire on the voltmeter. Next, we connect both the thin red wire and the thin yellow wire of the voltmeter to the other side of the block terminal. And finally, the thin black wire of the voltmeter is not used in this project. You don't have to connect it. So with this wiring, we are getting 12 volt on the input side of the buck converter, and it's converted to 6.5 volt on the output side. And it's available, the 6.5 volt is available through the five millimeter jack connector and it will be monitored by the meter. We will be seeing the voltage that is outputted by the buck converter and the current consumption in amps. So this is for one DC power output. And if you want to like me, you just double the components except for the toggle switch and the ATX breakout module. And the wiring is exactly the same. Okay, let's test it. First, I'm going to plug the ATX, the computer ATX power supply to my power outlet. And I'm going to turn on the power supply and turn on the box that, con that contains all the electronics we just wired. And we can see that the first output, I have seven volt and the second output I have almost 6.5 volts, so I have two DC power output on my box and the LEDs that are uh, turned on by the Arduino Nano, but this part is entirely optional, you don't have to do it. And this is my ADX power supply in action, powering my Star Wars panel. This is the ESP32, those uh, Millennium Falcon style panels. And these are powered by Arduino Nano. And here is the output. So the Nano consumed 260 milliamps and the ESP32 consumes 330 milliamps of current. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please give a thumbs up to the video and subscribe to my channel. Also, we have many other videos that you can watch on building things. So thanks again and thanks for watching.